Dakota Proclamation Study in Mythology of White America by a Savage Meredith M. Quinn, Dakota In sincere appreciation to Greg and Georgia, forgive me for asking of you what only gods can give. Ana Maria Puente, how does a person thank someone for the long hours of help that made this book possible? Pope, someone believes and it comes to pass only because there is someone. Sally, last, only because you are always first in my mind and heart. I hope this book joins that part of life that you may understand. Few people ever live to see it, for it is a journey that few get to make and return. Meredith M. Quinn, Dakota. Dakota Doctrine, February 1st, 1973. Preamble. We, the people other than European or European descent, classified by international law as being one, having dual or multiple nationalities. A. Metis. B. Mestizo. C. Mustizo. D. Mongolian. E. Minor Asian. 2. Savage or Aboriginals retaining their A. Languages and governments. B. Not defeated by the conquest of battles according to the codes and ethics of European systems of civilized acts. Believing in human traditions, rich in culture, loving the lands and its inhabitants of life, do proclaim to the world and its laws that have omitted the legal identity and civil human rights of a people long considered to be subnormal, remote, from human to be known from this day forward and forevermore as one persons to human beings. This doctrine is proclaimed for the benefit of all mankind to remove the causes of dissent and where oppression, suppression, and prejudice has in principle and concept provided the intellect of the European mind to make a peaceful state impossible, war inevitable, and the world alienable. The languages, governments, traditions, culture, and history of these persons and human beings shall no longer be called primitive, pagan, or godless, because they have stood the test of time and the Creator's expression of balanced nature. The desire of these persons and human beings is to live in harmony, not only with all of mankind, but with the earth and creation. These persons and human beings shall have one common bond, that no international boundary line that separates one legal nation from another, which is considered civilized by European standards, be separated in beliefs or allegiances that would oppress, suppress, or prejudice any man from mankind. These persons and human beings shall have their representation, justice, freedom, and equality, not from European evaluation, but by the needs of the people in the area, the beliefs and hopes of the children, and the educational and philology of the leaders. Followed by the table of contents, Dakota Proclamation, Study and Mythology of White America, Table of Contents, Cover Idea by Tomas Castaneda, Creed of the Indigenous, 1, Report of the Commissioner, 2, Preface, 3, Chapter 1, Introduction, Who Am I?, Page 6, The Lie in Every Thought, Page 8, His Lie Made Him a Nomad, 10, Foundations for the Facts, 11. Chapter 2, Indian Identity, Out of the Puzzle, P. 
Pick the Indian, 14. A Briefing, 19. Chapter 3, Salute to Activists, Those That Stand in the Way, 21. The Commission, 23. The 200-Year-Old Club, 23. The Reason of the Commission, 24. Know the Indian You're Fighting For, 25. The Clues That Point the Beginning, 25. The Game and Rights of the Privileged Few, 27. Chapter 4, The Rule He Is Under, The Beginning, 29. Tell a Lie and It Becomes the Truth, 30. How to Have Perfect Slavery, 32. Why Not Give It to the World, 35. Freedom or Death, Which, 39. The Great Hope, 42. Who's Kidding Whom, 44. The Indian is told to go ahead and make his future, 45. Everybody Helps the Lie, 45. A Guide to Indian Legal Terminology, 52. Chapter 5, Termination, The White Charger, 57. What is Termination, 60. Go All the Way, 65. Chapter 6, His Land, Mom's Apple Pie, 68. Three Cheers for Freedom, 69. It Really Works, 70. Indian is Not a Race, Creed, or Color, 72. 40 Years to Try, 72. Quinn's Concept, 73. Chapter 7, Bureau of Indian Affairs, Blame the Goat, 80. Cannot Protect the Indian, 83. Chapter 8, Indian Sovereignty versus United States Citizenship, Nobody Has to Tell the Truth, 88. Chapter 8, Indian Sovereignty versus United States Citizenship, Continued, The Impossible Becomes a Lie, 89. The Five Citizenship Acts for the Indians, 91. Everybody's in the Wrong Country, 97. Chapter 9, Interior and Insular Affairs, 108. Chapter 10, Genocide, Treason. Who Controls the Cleanliness of the Indian, 112. Graphs, 113. Persons, Inhabitants, Savages, 118. What Kind of Murder, 119. Reservation Genocide, 120. An Indian Genocide Convention, 121. Treason, 125. Who is a Citizen, 126. The Secret, 129. I'm Lost, 131. Half-Breeds, A Way to Cause a War, 132. Chapter 11, A Letter, 136. Chapter 12, What Are the Future Plans to be Tried on the Indian, 137.